Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here and we're in the shaved den. It's Sunday and we're ready for another shave. I'm going to be trying a new release today uh, from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and it's called Thought Forms. Short forms? We are tax season, right? Thought Forms. And it's sort of a collaboration between Douglas of PAA and uh, the Fragrance Brothers uh, on YouTube. I don't know if you've watched the channel, the Fragrance Brothers, but uh, they there's a lot of fragrance channels out there. And I watch them sometimes because I'm interested in uh, some of the, uh, you know, the higher end aftershaves that are out there. So anyway, it was a collaboration and they've come out with this soap and this uh, aftershave, aftershave and cologne. And the scent profile, it says, is uh, citrus, basil, menthol, uh, scent only, no feel, no menthol burr or freeze, uh, floral, rose, spice, amber, cedar, patchouli, and woody. And it's got a floral scent for sure, but I can detect the menthol in there. Now, he says in... Uh, uh, the web page that the, this is for uh, scent only and no, no menthol feel, but we're going to let you know on that. But this is the CK6 formula, and we're going to be trying this today. I got caught up in uh, what razor to use a couple, of, uh, a couple of videos ago. And I was supposed to be using a slant, and I've got the Mercure 37C here, and I'm going to use that today. Uh, I haven't used a slant in a while, but I was uh, texting back and forward or emailing back and forward with one of the viewers, and he says he really loves his slant razor. And when am I gonna when am I gonna do a slant razor again? So I'm gonna use uh, one of my favorites. I'm gonna use the Mercure. I'm gonna be using again kind of cool blades, Jeanette, Jeanette, Gillette Menorah blades today. Kind of a yeah, not not too aggressive, kind of a mild blade. We'll see how it does in the slant razor. And I'll be using my Wolf Whiskers synthetic brush. In fact, I think I'm going to put the synthetic brush, oh, hang on a second. Let's put some fresh hot water into the crystal skull. There we go. We've got the, uh, got the brush soaking there. <clears throat> How's your weekend going so far? I was, uh, watching the final four games yesterday, mainly because my daughter went to San Diego State and I got a chance to see a few of the Aztec football games, but I really never saw their basketball game. They have a pretty cool arena. And I believe this is the first time they made it to the final four. And it was a nail biter again. I mean, they barely won. So looking forward to uh, Monday night, uh, tomorrow night, we will see them go against as a Yukon in the final game. All right, Menorah. Put that there. Lock that in. Very good. Got a little bit of the chrome. Doing a little peel right there, see it? Tiny bit. Otherwise, I've had this razor forever. Okay, let's get this shave started, shall we? And welcome, thanks for tuning in. All right. Probably won't get this video edited till tomorrow. I've got the uh, in-law over, and my father-in-law. We're just hanging out today. I mean, Doug, or PAA and, you know, I'm... Uh, what is it? Wet shaving product. All these, all these companies have such a huge, various selection of soaps and scents that it's definitely hard to keep up with all of them. So all I can tell you, if you come across one of your favorites, it's nice to uh, maybe stock up a tad, one or two, if they're a talk of discontinuing it. And the reason I bring this up. As I'm late to the game, I went, uh, my daughter took me over to, uh, is it Macy's? Went to Macy's and Sephora. Uh, I wanted to get some more polo 
aftershave. And I was very saddened to hear that Ralph Lauren Polo and most of the higher end aftershave have been discontinued. It's only Uday Toilette now you can get in a spray. So Polo, if you come across, here's a tip. You come across a, a bottle of green Polo, red Polo, you know, blue Polo, aftershave. They don't make that anymore. And they're getting like 150 bucks a bottle on eBay for a $40 bottle of aftershave. So very, very sad for me. I'm going to have to, if I want some more of them, I'm going to have to pay for some, uh, pay a higher price and stock up. All right. Oh, nice and smooth. Something about a slant razor. Very nice and smooth. There we go. Went and saw Dungeons and Dragons with my father-in-law on Friday. Uh, <laughs> it was all right. Entertaining. I've been watching Poker Face on Peacock. Uh, kind of an interesting series. It's got the girl from American Pie in it. And I'm all caught up on The Mandalorian. I don't know what you guys have been watching. I've been watching that 19, is it 1923 or 1928? The prequel to Yellowstone. It seems like they're not coming out with, you know, these episodes quick enough. Maybe Harrison Ford was busy filming the new Indiana Jones movie. I should stop here because I cut my neck last time when I was talking about it. I should stop here. Very slick soap. CK6. Nice scent. Very slick. And I haven't watched the video on Fragrance Brothers on this soap yet. I should. Let's see what other people are saying about it. Did I get myself on the neck? Maybe. Yeah, I did. Opened up that wound from the other day. Yeah. CK6. You have the choice of the regular formula or the CK6. I mean, both work good, but man, that CK6 is pretty slick. Hey, the goatee's coming in. Have to shave it off and then grow it again, huh? All right. Oh. All over me. Now the soap. I can kind of detect the menthol, but the aftershave I do not, but a very, very fresh scent. All right. I've got a lot in my hand. <laughs> oh. ah, there's the burn. Definitely no menthol feel in either the soap or the aftershave. Just a very fresh scent. 
I do kind of smell the spices. I don't have the greatest nose, 61 years old, and you know, I don't have the greatest uh, sense of smell that uh, my wife does. And she says this smells like something, but she couldn't quite, you know, like a, a fragrance that's been out or out, but uh, she couldn't, she couldn't narrow it down either. So she couldn't even, uh, she couldn't even identify. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, yeah, got me. You got me. Going to have to get out the alum block or I'm going to just let it dry. Put a little more aftershave on it. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I don't know who you're rooting for in the final basketball NCAA tournament on Monday night, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping uh, UConn has been playing very well. San Diego State squeaked through two times, but it's nice to see San Diego State make it this far. So way to go, Aztecs. All right, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon in another upcoming shave. All right, stay safe, and thank you very, very much for watching. Bye for now.